Stand by Beth. Beth, please. Music under and hold. You're listening to Insight on Capital Public Radio. I'm Beth Ruriak, actually listening to a band that's in our studio. The Pomegranate Band has invaded. The story goes, once upon a time, three guys with three very different backgrounds started a band in San Francisco. In 1994, two songs were released on a 7-inch vinyl record. A radio station in Santa Monica started playing it, and suddenly life changed quite a bit. But as happens with fairy tales, there have been dark forests, a few wizards, some rejections and disappointments, but our heroes are not to be discouraged. The music continues. A new EP is out called Ahead and Behind. The band, the band is Pomegranate. And the guys are here today. Hello, everybody. Okay. So Gavin Kanan, he grew up in Sacramento, graduated from Mary Loma, is here today. You're on guitar and vocals. Would he be willing to talk to us on Monday? Grew up in Oakland. Okay, we're always going to know Adam's voice. Your dad was a successful writer of commercial jingles. Yeah, I can sing that. KCRA is reporting it as a bumblebee. So we're just curious if Seattle volunteers are reporting it. Okay, so you're on bass and vocals. And Michael Creason, not originally with the band, right? Correct. Yeah, I've been with the band now about three years. Okay, you grew up in Illinois, and you went to Broadway. I did. 14 years out there? Yeah, I did live sound for Broadway oh. before I came out to uh, work for a loudspeaker manufacturer on the West Coast. Well, well you got quite a voice, too. <laughs> Gavin, you I know, sound like I know, a soprano here. <laughs> 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 All right, so this fairy tale story. Mm -hmm. So exciting that was, and in the middle, the dark forest had a lot to do with the marketing of music, didn't it, Gavin? Yeah, I mean, I think what's, what's interesting is, is we have, and we've, we've kind of had um, a trajectory here, I guess, where, we're, where the music business has changed. I think everyone is kind of aware of how things have changed over time, and uh, we kind of started, came in when there was, you know, still record labels, and, uh, you know, obviously iTunes didn't exist, and, and I think things have changed dramatically, and and it's exciting now, but um, there's, you know, as with everything, there's um, you know, pluses and minuses, I guess, uh, to how things have changed and and evolved. Um, so yeah, we've uh, we've seen a lot of those changes and kind of ridden them, and uh, it's been a great ride, and we, we still love doing it. So, um, but yeah, it, it's it's had, as you said, it's had its dark uh, dark moments, I guess. Adam, is it correct to say that the band, by your estimation, got mishandled? And some of the momentum got uh, was lost because it tripped along. Yeah, you said it right there. Oh. Um, the way things were going uh, in the in the '90s was you were banned. Uh, people came out to see you. Uh, the right person came out, and then they liked your music, and then you're signed to a label, and then you make records. And so we were trying to do that, and um, we found a label, a small uh, indie label, a, a subsidiary of A&M Records back then. And they had, a, was are we the were we the first band on that? I think label? we were the second band. The I mean, second the, the, band. again, it was a time where the labels were seeing the the, the value of independent music and a, a kind of a post Nirvana time. So, so, yeah, I mean, the labels were kind of. Um, but then, what on. happens next really depends on where they position your music, how they handle you, how they book you, mm -hmm. and all of that was the lesson learned, wasn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, we 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 did a uh, tour across the U.S. and Gavin's wife Lisa basically booked the entire tour. <laughs> now I Yay, Lisa. <laughs> well, and I think, but I think that that in in, in of itself so what's is, is a good lesson because I mean it ultimately it is. I think he's that been working it is about doing it all and that was something that I think is, gonna, has again in that kind of long term and, evolution uh, of where things are now. I mean, I think bands today Monday, much more here, take things on themselves and do are very so successful in that regard. Like so Sunday, I think kind of looking at that change and and that was something that we learned back then. And I think I think it was true back then. I mean, obviously, I remember hearing recently a. Uh, somebody saying that uh, in the music business saying that it really does come down to the management and as you said I mean th those are key people but ultimately you can't always rely on, on those things so you have to do it yourself Billboard went crazy over your music in the beginning you're still Long the same ago. guys making music you have the benefit <laughs> of Michael coming in from New York seeing the bigger picture and you just heard Coach Carter talking about having a dream, looking ahead of it, getting away from where the problem was. And I think, Michael, you've been able to bring that, haven't you? Well, I, I do I do feel like the, the flavor of the band has changed quite a bit um, since I've joined. Um, you know, I think that we spent 
a, a good portion of time when I first joined the band, uh, trying to get ourselves up to speed, um, playing the old songs, learning some new songs, writing some music. And now when we look back and we play uh, some of the records from uh, back in the day, in the 90s, and the, the, uh, <laughs> um, it, it, some of the comments we always make are, wow, we play it very differently now. Hmm. And um, so that's been kind of and an exciting part the of, of the, the journey that we've been taking is is sort of reforming some of the old things to Jones fit into the way that we sound now and uh, evolving our sound. In that way. Well, after four albums, you said, the new EP is called Ahead and Behind, and just a few minutes before the show, you recorded Dust Bowl, mm -hmm. one of the tracks right, yeah. from Ahead and Behind. So let's take a listen. This is Pomegranate. Go. Go. I'm not hearing anything. Oh. There you go. Yikes. Fine. Fine. I, had, I left the camera yeah. down on there. So we talked to Art. We broke the news to him. <laughs> so he's going to do some research and see what he can find. He can't join us on Monday, but, you know, maybe he has more information later in the week. Not too much. I looked at it. Turn it up. Can we turn the studio? Oh. Yeah, don't turn the arrow. Thanks for that, Katie. Yeah. just for fun. It was actually part of the song. Now the beginning? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there's a, there's a pause, and then they, there's like, it's just live. That's when people are supposed to, the false clap, and then it ends, like okay. a little. Yeah, yeah, a little pause, and then, you know. I don't know. <laughs> just, I was going to say. The only thing that would be bad is if we were going to change the length of the show. Oh, you know what? When you are. So let's uh, take. Don't record the closing music, right? Yeah. Edge of sleep. Can we pull up the closing music real quick? No, we can't pull up anything while this is playing. Oh, we can't pull up anything while this is currently playing. So he's gonna. Mark's gonna go look. It's edge of edge of sleep. It, it is the closing thing. I'm sorry, I have it right here. Okay. Right. Will you tell Mark it? We're, uh, we should, well, have him double check it just in case. Do you want to tell him that you have it? That it should be the D close. Get a shot of all your gear here. 60 seconds. Pomegranate from a new EP called Ahead and Behind. Gavin Kanan, Adam Twain, Michael Creason in our studio. You're playing at Bows and Arrows tonight. Tonight, That's yes, right. with uh, Dead Horses and Nacho Business from yeah. Look to Look. Being <laughs> <laughs> an electric set. Well, Darn we, um, you know, we brought we we tried to be a, 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 a public radio friendly this morning and brought our acoustic guitar and our tiny drumsticks. Yeah, and, you know, when we when we play the show tonight, it's going to be. 
a little bit more uh, lively, a little bit more electric sounding set. Um, Aren't you all happy to hear that? Too? <laughs> <laughs> so Sounds good in here, out. though. And the Naked Lounge with Be Brave, Bold Robots in February. Yes, right. February 9th. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to close with a song that's Edge of Sleep that's a different sound for you. But you're touring, okay. you're recording music. <laughs> mm -hmm. The fairy tale part was yeah. past, no so now you're in a reality show of your own life, now right? We to do what we like doing and not worry about what other people think. <laughs> Just a little. Uh, we, we just love to play music, so if that's what it's all about. I can yeah. see it. I can hear it. Good luck. Bows and arrows tonight. Gavin, Adam, and Michael, and you're hearing a little bit of the edge of sleep. I do want to let you know we called Art Teal back up in Seattle. Surprise of surprises, we ended up breaking the news to him that we are hearing that the King's deal is done. So we'll continue to follow that story today. Stay tuned at capradio.org. The band Pomegranate, more details, and a link to the band's website at capradio.org slash insight. Thanks That's insight. You are welcome, guys. <laughs> I'm Beth Ruiak. Our senior producer is Jen Picard. Our producer is James Morrison. Our technical director is Mark Jones. Our theme music is composed by Joe Gilman and Paul Conley. Insight's executive producer is Joe Barr. It is Friday, and that's a wrap. Thank you for joining us. Music all the way up, please. And Beth, all the way out. Thank you. You're all clear. Yeah, we didn't do it, but that's okay. We'll fix it. To pull out the music, sorry. I kind of told you at the last minute, but... Didn't do <laughs> to pull, if we pull it out of audition, it won't get recorded, and then you can uh, mix it. And you also have to have these speakers all the way off. So, up there. Oh, yeah. 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 Do I need to back this out at some point? Just let it go. Just let it go. Are we all happily round here? Yeah.